Hello there, my name is Jason Perkins. I want to welcome you to another episode in the Georgia Workers' Compensation video series. I'm an attorney who specializes in handling Georgia Workers' Compensation cases, and I created this series of videos to provide people who have been hurt at work with helpful information about Georgia's workers' compensation law and the benefits they should receive under that law. Today I want to talk to you about will workers' compensation monitor your TikTok? Workers' comp is always looking for evidence that will allow them to stop or reduce your workers' comp benefits. The reason they look for this evidence is that insurance companies are businesses. Um, they're in business to make money. And when they're paying workers' comp benefits out to you, it's costing them money. So they want to reduce the workers' comp benefits that you and anyone else receives. Um, so one common type of evidence they're looking for to reduce your benefits is video evidence or pictures. Um, this evidence can show your physical condition, what you're able to do and not able to do. Um, sometimes they can use it to convince a doctor or a judge that you're not as hurt as you say you are. Um, another thing that videos or pictures can show is that you may be working or earning money in some capacity. Um, when you're receiving workers' comp wage loss benefits, you're generally not supposed to be doing that. Um, so the insurance company will try to use this information to get your benefits stopped or suspended. So will they monitor your TikTok? Yes, um, they're going to monitor your TikTok and other social media accounts that you have available out there. And the reason why is because those social media accounts often contain information, either text or pictures or videos that demonstrate your physical condition or that you may be working in some capacity. And they'll use this evidence to try to get doctors or workers' compensation judge to say that your workers' comp benefits should be stopped or reduced. Um, so again, that's helpful to them. They're businesses and they're trying to get your benefits stopped if they can. Um, so the problem with this information is that these videos and pictures or the text posted in social media posts don't always tell the complete story. Um, a picture shows you in a moment. Um, it doesn't show what you did before or afterward. And a video is also usually just a brief period of time. Um, so something that you may have been able to do for a second or a few minutes doesn't show your condition before or after that picture or video was taken. Um, so maybe you did something for a brief period of time, but then you were laid up for the rest of that day or even a few days. Um, the problem is if you ever heard the expression, a picture is worth a thousand words. And what that expression means is that it's very hard to explain away a picture or a video. Um, when a doctor or a judge sees this visual information, they're often going to rely on it. Um, so even if you attempt to explain, hey, I wasn't able to do that very long, or yeah, I did it for a little bit, but I was really hurting afterwards, um, it may not work. Um, so that's something that you have to worry about when um, the workers' compensation insurance company is going to monitor pictures, videos, and other posts that you put on TikTok or social media accounts. Hope you found this information about whether workers' compensation will monitor your TikTok helpful. If you have, please let me know that. One of the best ways you can do that is by liking this video or giving it a thumbs up. If you've got more questions about workers' compensation, I'd encourage you to reach out and get a free consultation about your case. There's two easy ways you can set that consultation up. The first is by calling the phone number at the bottom of the screen. And the other is by reaching out to us through our website, which is www.perkinslawtalk.com. Just click on and submit the free consultation request form, and a member of our team will reach out to you and get that consultation scheduled. I'd like to thank you again for watching this video today, and we'll wish you the best of luck as you recover from your injuries.